Take away the big shirts, the tattoos, the sweatpants and bangs Okay, I don't wear no makeup, no purse in my hand Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So I've just created this like classic red lip. I feel like the lipstick I've used is like iconic and it will just literally suit everyone. I like, I'm in love with it. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to use my Rimmel Insta Strobing Cream in the shade Bronze Glow. And just rub it in with your hands. This does look slightly ridiculous, but we want to be glowing. I'm going to put foundation on this one. I've already primed my skin as well with my Fenty primer. So glowy, crazy. And then I'm going to spray my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And then for foundation, I'm going in with my Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter in the shade 440. I'm only going to use like two squirts today because I want this to be like fairly glowy. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyone who wants to come to my house and organise my makeup table, feel free. Just come around. Then for concealer, I'm using my Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade 13. This concealer is the best. Okay, I do think I've put too much concealer under that eye. And I'm just going to blend it all in with a beauty blender. Okay, now we're going to move on to the eyes. And I'm going to use my Morphe 35R palette for this. Loads of browns, but then loads of shimmers. So I'm going to take this light brown shade here. I'm going to keep the eyes fairly simple. Also, I'm using my Morphe M513 brush. This super fluffy blending brush. This is like the perfect transition shade. Literally just like blended in. Then next I'm going to take this more orangey shade here. I wish they would like give the Morphe eyeshadows name. And then I'm going to take the shimmer shade that's in the corner here, this one. But first, as always, I'm going to carve out the crease with the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I can find it on this messy desk. I feel like this is the most natural eye look I've done for like ages, maybe ever in my whole life. Okay, so I'm using the Morphe M167 brush and I actually really like it. I just thought it looks like it would be good for packing on eyeshadow and I was right. I really want to buy more Morphe palette. I just look and they're so affordable too. Okay, this is a really pretty colour. I love it. This is a very summery eye. Then I'm going to take this dark brown shade here for the ends of my eye and I'm just going to use a MAC 217 brush. These like shades blend so well together. Morphe is definitely so good if you are a beginner. And they do so many brushes as well. Oh my god, does anyone remember when we couldn't even get Morphe in England? Like, we had to have it shipped. And then you had to pay like, custom charges. Those were the days. Now, we literally have a whole Morphe store in Birmingham. Like, it's crazy. So, for an inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use this white shade here. And then I'm just going to line my waterline with some black pencil liner. And then I'm going to go back in with the orange shade for under my eye. Okay, 
Okay, the eyes have turned out heavier than I imagined in my head, um, but we're just gonna roll with it. This always happens. Why my eye makeup is always so heavy because I get carried away. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my Primark liquid liner and we're gonna go quite thick with the winged liner. I hate when winged liner turns out good on one eye and then it's the pressure for the next eye. Like, how can I live up to this? Oh, right. Okay, I feel like I did quite well with that. And then I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy Bronzer. This will stop me looking so two dimensional. Take away the big shirts, the tattoos, the sweatpants, and bangs. Okay, I don't wear no makeup, no person, but I'm hanging. Oh, then I'm gonna go in with my Illamasqua highlighter. I still don't know what this is actually called. But what if I told you there's nothing I want more in This is my favourite highlighter for my nose because it just looks so bright. And then I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badescu rose water spray. And then for the lips, I'm gonna go in with Kat Von D's lip liner in the shade Rosary. It is one of those lip liners that you have to like screw up, which I don't really like those. I prefer sharpening them, personally, but my normal business. Ooh. Haven't actually used this before. And then I'm using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Outlaw. This is like super red. Probably gonna get it on my teeth as well. So it's all about that. Oh my oh god. What blood? I feel like this is actually the perfect shade of red, like for dark skin, like no lie. And then I'm just going to apply some lashes. Oh my god, like I actually love this red lip. I feel like this is the best red lipstick I've ever had, like by far. Like I used to hate Ruby Woo, it was too drying. Like this is by far the best red lipstick I've ever used, I love it. So thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it as always. And if you like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Leah underscore Miller. We can all be best friends. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you next time. Bye.